Hello, my name is Anand. In this AWS Solutions Architect Associate Canvas, I want to discuss about this module 13, building microservices and serverless architectures. The lab, especially the guided lab, implementing a serverless architecture with AWS Lambda. So this is my lab is ready now. Uh, I'll just go through uh, the uh, highlights about this. So here the scenario is, is in this lab, we will be creating an inventory, we will upload an inventory file to S3 bucket. This will trigger a lambda function, okay, the code is already here, that will read the file and insert items into Amazon DynamoDB table. A serverless web based dashboard application also use this Amazon Cognito to authenticate to AWS. So another lambda function we will up, uh, create and receive updates from the DynamoDB table. This function will send a message to an SMS topic which you are going to create. Amazon SNS will send you a notification through SMS or email. So this is the objective of this lab. Let us go through. Uh, so the first task is uh, basically to create a lambda function, create a lambda function and to uh, load the data. So I click this AWS. So if you see any error, just log out and log in back. I click this AWS. So here the first task is uh, like uh, we are going to create a lambda function. We are going to create a lambda function and then once we upload any S3 uh, file that is a CSV file into S3 bucket which you have created, it will also reproduce a DynamoDB table. This will trigger automatically. Okay, so into the DynamoDB table. And then we can also see through the web URL also. So this is the first task. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a function, Lambda function, which is called as a load inventory, which uses a Python script. So in my AWS, I use this uh, Lambda, okay. I create a function, okay. The function name is lam load inventory and this is python anything about 30.7 is okay okay execution role uh, i'll use an existing iam role which is load inventory role so this role basically uh, load inventory will give permission from lambda to s3 and dynamo db table okay and say create the function Yeah, the function is created so also we need to modify the code you can see this in the code editor so delete all the existing code and then copy this particular code so here select this uh, lambda py and say paste as it is Let me just give some highlights about this code. In this high first part of the code is download a file from S3 that triggered to the event. Loop each uh, through each line of the file. Insert uh, the data into DynamoDB inventory table. See this, we have defined this uh, DynamoDB uh, and the inventory table also in this function. And then you define the Lambda handler. So uh, the bucket whatever it is uh, the bucket uh, uh, we have defined in the S3 uh, so the file uh, local file is uh, inventory.txt okay uh, then it will uh, try to make sure that it exists read the inventory file it will read the file that is csv file and it it translates your rows and records everything and then it uh, submits into the inventory table that is store item and count which is there so yes, uh, we are going to deploy and to make save changes. So ensure that you have already clicked this particular one and say deploy. 
Yeah, it's updating the load inventory. Yes, successfully updated. You can see this deploy. So this completes our first part. So what I do, I just duplicate this one. We'll move to the second task, configuring your S3 event. So here, open this S3 service. Open this, sorry. Open this S3 service. And then try to create a bucket with uh, the name called as inventory, maybe something like one, two, three. So create a bucket. I say inventory, maybe I'll say triple nine. So North Virginia, HCL is disabled. Leave all the things as it is, as it is. Okay, create a bucket. Yeah, if it is already existing, you have no option. I'll say triple eight. Let me hope that this bucket is getting created. Yes, it is created. Now we have to modify, we have to edit certain things. Uh, if you get requested bucket not available, try with other one. Properties, the event notifications. So select this bucket and uh, under that properties, go to event notifications. Yeah, create an event notification. See here, event name. Uh, you can say load inventory this is the event name uh, all object create events yeah page suffix if you have anything something specific uh, all object events yes create events you see this one all object create events lambda function and load inventory or rrs it's okay lambda function and also uh, yeah, load inventory specify the lambda function yeah save changes so this is event yeah so this is this completes our uh, second part now testing let us test this one so let us try to upload an inventory file okay once you upload the inventory file you should also see a lambda table like uh, a lambda function and a dynamo db table also getting created so let us see this one i have downloaded all these files into my local hard disk i'll just show you so here if i show you uh, inventory calcutta something like this you can see it is a comma separated uh, value you see store item and count similar to this so what i do i upload this one into the bucket see this this is the data which is there upload this one one of the file any one you can choose any one of the inventory file i upload so what i do into this go to objects or buckets and say upload a file add a file i'll upload this file calcutta file any file is okay just say upload right so say close the file is already uploaded yeah what is my next instruction is uh, you can copy the URL basically like at the top of the instructions details uh, there is a show button details here click here details just say show button uh, from the credentials yeah, credentials you can see that there is a dashboard URL so just copy this dashboard URL this one long one into the browser tab into the browser tab I copy this one yeah I can see all my store data which has been uploaded this is actually pulling the data from what we call from the DynamoDB table so I just keep it aside and also uh, I duplicate this one to see the dynamo db table. you see you get like this kind of thing we got it already and then uh, we'll also open this dynamo db tables and explore the items so this is a NoSQL database dynamo db console 
you see in tables you have one inventory table you see okay let me explore the items so you have all the five items all the five one two three four five six items of Calcutta same one as in when you upload automatically your lambda function is triggering uh, it is uh, basically uh, triggering into this DynamoDB table and also on your uh, URL okay this completes our uh, third task now the fourth task you want to notify that this management when there is out of stock for serverless notification functionality you will use SMS so what you do here uh, this is DynamoDB I'll again duplicate this one maybe another service called as SNS services services you can say maybe SNS simple notification service and create a service yeah what I do I create a new topic so create a topic Yeah, you can say create a topic you can say the topic name as uh, what is that uh, topic name as no stock no stock I'll give the topic name as no stock I'll use standard only that's enough for us okay or display name I can say maybe Anand. I can give my name and say create a topic absolutely and also create a subscription subscription so select a protocol you can say email or maybe uh, what you can say maybe email also is okay so I can say any endpoint your email ID create a subscription okay maybe I'll add one more subscription like your SMS subscription also is there yeah this is there create a subscription maybe at this time I'll use uh, what is this SMS SMS you can get even uh, to your okay create a subscription yeah topic I need to choose and create a subscription yeah you can see that the subscription uh, my yeah, SMS is confirmed and I can check my mail for confirming it as an asset subscription yeah sometimes it may be in the spam uh, report I'll confirm this one here yeah, subscription is confirmed similarly you can add any number of subscribers you try to just refresh so I have two confirmations from the three things uh, subscribers I have added leave it that's okay I can close this one I'm keeping it aside now since I have this SNS notification confirmations I'm going to task number five creating a lambda function to send notifications okay I take this one uh, so for this no stock I want to create some notifications so create a new lambda function create a new function which is na named called as check stock check stock this is again a python program so you can say uh, functions this is load inventory earlier one uh, what I do create a function check stock I choose this as python and execution role use an existing role that is check stock role okay lambda check stock role which will have co connection with the s3 and all these things yeah so this is done 
and also we need to change the code so remove the existing code and add the following code copy the code this is done click this and deploy so this contents is the same so here uh, the object of this code is uh, loop through the incoming records if the inventory count is zero send a message that no stock to the stop it you will now configure the triggers okay to the inventory table in dynamo tv yeah deploy is done scroll to the designer add a trigger so select a trigger dynamo db and uh, dynamo db table name is inventory let me add this one so whenever there is a change in the dynamo db table add the trigger so select the source as dynamo db yeah the table name is inventory activate the trigger okay that's all inventory just add the trigger so this completes my task number 5 okay my trigger is also ready so testing the system so now let me add a file add any uh, inventory file to the dashboard okay into s3 so let me let me just add any file any file which i have so this is my s3 where is s3 yeah this is s3 earlier i had only calcutta so i'm trying to upload a file add file maybe i'll add some berlin okay inventory berlin dot csv just say upload right just say close so now you have two files so automatically you should see uh, there is a notification there is a notification which should come maybe in the spam or you will get an alert once this is done you can see where is that once you have added uh, name of the inventory upload just try to inventory dashboard just try to refresh you should see the store menu okay this is your inventory not this you should get mail also yeah tables just try to refresh your inventory yeah. okay so also let me check my uh, SMS yeah I can see an SMS from yes sir saying that uh, is uh, out of stock eco show eco show there is an out of uh, there is a message anand k uh, i mean uh, is out of stock of eco show yeah uh, hence like you can see hence this will define if you do not receive the notification wait for few minutes or upload a different inventory file dynamo db can take some more few minutes to enable so I didn't get uh, SMS here. Uh, sorry, I didn't get mail, but uh, definitely uh, I got SMS. Or it may take some more time to get my mail reached. Okay, maybe one more time I'll try here uploading. So I'll upload one more, maybe add file, maybe Springfield, I'll say upload, so I have three files now. Yeah, 
yeah, I got alert now. Now, see this one, inventory alert, like this. Springfield is out of stock. Even on my mobile also, let me check. Yes, I have an SMS. I have an SMS which is replied here. So like this, if you get alerts, this is how uh, the code is meant for it. Try to upload multiple inventory files. What do you think will happen? It will show you all the out of stock elements which are available. Submitting your work. Once you have done everything, you can just say submit. So yes, we have completed everything. Let me see, submit and see the results. Yes, all the tasks are perfectly uh, done. You can see this task 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3, 4 and 5A all 40 by 40. So once the task is complete, what you can do is that you can just say end lab to discard all the infrastructure whatever has been deployed. You may close your message now. Okay, let us meet with a new lab, uh, I mean module 14. Uh, thank you everyone and bye.